Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, today I'm going to start reviewing a, a few different hot sauces for a company that's based in Portland, Oregon. Now there seems to be several really great hot sauce companies up there in the Northwest. And this one is from the uh, Hard Times Sauce Company. And this one I believe is their hottest. This one's called Foot High. And they got a saying down there at the bottom, even if you forget, you'll remember. Now these do come in these uh, large 8 ounce um, BPA free plastic bottles. Uh, very colorful labeling, eye catching, uh, fun looking labels on here. Uh, something different, uh, you know, I see a lot of different hot and spicy products coming out like this uh, in larger size bottles. Uh, not so much a regular hot sauce in a 5 ounce size glass bottle, but more of a spicy condiment. Uh, so really something different and unique. It says that it's um, vegan and gluten free. Handmade in Portland, Oregon, established in 2013. Now these were sent to me from the owner, Lucas Gillespie, and I believe he named the uh, company Hard Times because several years back he was struggling to make ends meet himself during the uh, economic downturn. And he is an experienced sous chef and he really does have a passion for the restaurant business. Uh, and plans on uh, coming out with several different more hot sauces here in the near future, I do believe. Uh, but we're going to start off with this one. Uh, let me go ahead and read the ingredients. Uh, sodium is fairly low, only 45 milligrams. But we start off with distilled vinegar, tomato sauce, stewed tomatoes, carrots, onions, bell peppers, chili peppers, jalapeno peppers, habanero peppers, garlic, cilantro, apple juice, kosher salt, raw sugar, bay leaf, and olive oil. Now I have opened this up already, getting to use it um, on a few different products, eggs in the morning, just trying to get to know it a little bit. Now this has the consistency, I'll show you here in a minute, of kind of like a sriracha or a ketchup. This is a type of sauce where everything is just pureed up, blended up, so there's no seeds, there's no chunks, there's no pulp, everything is just blended up completely. Um, so you can see here it is fairly thick, but the aroma on this is uh, rather unique. Um, I have to say that um, with all of those lists of ingredients, I was expecting something a little bit more savory. It's got kind of a unique um, aroma on it. You do get a lot of the tomato sauce type smell. Um, believe you do get kind of the um, kind of a tartness. You get the um, uh, the lime, not lime, the, um, the cilantro, I believe, coming up garlic and onions, but uh, it's not real, real savory. But uh, I think what is making it a little bit unique as far as the aroma goes is probably the bay leaf uh, because they can they can really add a unique flavor uh, to sauces. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this on a spoon and show you what it looks like. Um, I have to squeeze it out. So this really has a consistency of, I'd say, like a... Uh, a ketchup or a barbecue sauce. So it is pretty thick as you can see. All right, here we go. Very smooth, rich, creamy. Everything is pureed up. Right off the bat, um, you do get a little bit of spiciness so that you can feel that the peppers are in there, but you get a real smooth, rich, a tomato vegetable type taste. It's not vinegary at all. It is not salty at all. Um, but you just get a real smooth, creamy, tomatoey, carrot vegetable type uh, flavor on this. Um, and I believe the bay leaf is just giving it kind of a unique flavor. Um, but uh, it's not overly sweet either. It's got the raw sugar in there, but um, everything's well blended up. Um, but it's just got a, just a different flavor that I just can't quite uh, pin down. Um, uh, it's not my favorite. Um, I thought it was going to have a little bit more of different type taste on it with these ingredients. But um, I think this is a type of sauce that's good on potato dishes. Uh, probably be good in chilies or on spaghetti. Um, things like that where a tomato sauce, um, you know, would uh, go well with certain foods. But what I've got to put it on... Um, these are Paul called uh, pakoras. Uh, this is just an Indian uh, onions, kind of a, a spicy uh, Indian um, side dish. And I think this would be good on this. We're going to try this out. 
Here we go. Go ahead and cut this. Mm. Much better on food. I think this would be good on hash browns in the morning. But um, it still really doesn't wow me. Um, but it is pretty good. I think it's above average um, and unique because of the packaging and everything like that. But if you look, if you want a hot sauce with chunks um, and a little bit different type of flavor profile, you don't want something that's all pureed up, kind of like a ketchup or a sriracha, then you may not like this. But if you are looking for something like that, then uh, this is probably pretty good for you. Um, on flavor, uh, I give this a seven out of ten for flavor. Um, I think it's above average. It's good. It just doesn't wow me. Um, and on heat, got a little bit of spiciness there from you know those blends of peppers, the jalapenos, the uh, chili peppers, habanero peppers. But it's not all that hot. I just give it a three out of ten for uh, heat. But everybody, check them out on Facebook. Uh, you can find them at Hard Times uh, Sauce Company at um, on the uh, Facebook. And the website simply is hardtimessauceco.com. All right, Luke, thanks very much for sending it. I appreciate it. And everybody stay tuned for the other two reviews for this company. And until the next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.